Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the gadgets that I use in college. A lot of you are going to college and you might be wondering, ki, kya chahiye? do you need just a, just a phone and a laptop? And if laptop, then should I go for a Mac or should I go for a Windows? If it's a phone, then should I go for an Android or should I go for an iPhone? I know a lot of you have these questions. And today I'm just going to share my personal experiences with Macs and Windows, with iPhones and uh, you know, Androids and also a couple of other gadgets that I use uh, while I'm at college. Now, let's be frank, right? When you go to college, you just need two devices, a phone and a laptop. Uh, a lot of you were asking, is it necessary to get a laptop? I would say yes. If you're going to an engineering college, then getting a laptop will be a good investment. And here's my story with laptops. Uh, I never had a laptop until 12th grade. Uh, in 12th grade, I had to give a presentation at IIT Bombay for a fest called Tech Fest, and that's when I thought of getting myself a laptop. And at that time, uh, you know, I was like, hey, should I go for a Windows or should, should I go for a Mac? And since I do not game, uh, I've made a comprehensive video about Windows versus Mac, you can watch it somewhere over here. Uh, but since I did not game at that time, I thought Mac would be a good investment because a lot of my friends said that if you get a Mac, then it's gonna last for the next five, 10 years because it's so robust and it's, even today, it's as fast as it was on day one, right? Uh, so I thought, all right, I'm just gonna use it for official work. I, I might code on it. I might use it for presentations and stuff. And that's why I'm gonna go for a Mac. And trust me, even today, uh, 12th grade, how many? I think four years have passed by and it's working as good as it was on day one. Uh, no problems at all. I, by the way, I got MacBook Air 2017 version. But the second thing that I did was get a mobile phone, right? So when I first went to college, I just took my mom's phone because she got a new one and it was an iPhone 5S. Uh, now, iPhones also last very long, right? Like this phone, I don't know, I, I think I got, got this in ninth grade and it's been, I think, six, six years and it's still working really well. Right, uh, but soon I had to shift phones because the screen of iPhone 5s is too tiny as you can see it just sort of fits in my palm and I switched to another phone called Realme U1 right and the bots are a high prata right Realme bot a cha phone it last long and it's a very cheap Chinese phone and you get all the specs of an expensive phone bot Amazon me hype tha, so I got this phone but you know it looks fancy looks you know shiny and stuff it did not last long, it lasted for just a year and after that it started breaking, it, it was super slow and uh, you know the lifetime value reduced or ajeeb ajeeb se ads aate the beech mein phone mein uh, and wasn't a good experience at all. The camera is terrible, I tried shooting with this camera and it just did not work out. It has two cameras by the way but both are really bad. The front camera will make you look like a celebrity, it will make you look super white which I do not want to happen right, I want to look natural. So I don't know these Chinese phones have weird filters and it's it's kind of terrible, not recommended at all, biggest mistake of my life. And then I switched to this Samsung uh, M1, amazing phone, uh, it's snappy, It's it's it has like uh, you know, a really good UI and no problems at all. You know, I can run pretty much any app on it and I do not game by the way. So, um, you know, it, it does most of the tasks for me. Never, uh, never slow and I, I haven't seen it hang. So no problems whatsoever. And if I had to choose between iPhone, by the way, my sister has an iPhone 11. So I think I'm in a position to make a good comparison. But uh, if if you want a phone that lasts for like five, 10 years, and if you download apps that are only present in the app store, then an iPhone should be a good choice. iPhones have amazing camera. Like my sister has an iPhone 11 and this is a Samsung M1. That camera is fabulous, right? It, it just gives you so realistic pictures and videos. So if you're, if you're a content creator or if you wanna get into content creation or if you like taking good quality photos, then iPhone is the best. And uh, if you are someone who likes to download games, if you're someone who likes to, you know, download apps that are only present in App Store, and if you're not a huge fan of camera, then I would say, you know, Android should be a good choice, right? But also remember that iPhones last very long. The lifetime value of uh, an iPhone is crazy. Like, as I told you, this 5S lasts till now. So uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's like an investment of sorts. But yeah, iPhones, the issue with iPhone is that, you know, uh, you cannot download a lot of apps. There are a lot of good apps that are only present in Play Store. And the second disadvantage is that this iCloud gives a lot of BT. Um, you know, 
it's so proprietary that uh, you need to stick to it. There's no expandable memory. So you need to get cloud storage, you need to purchase cloud storage and that's a issue in its own. So you can watch any iPhone versus Android video, you'll get a good idea. Uh, now, apart from phone and laptop, I also have a couple of other things that I use in college. I'll quickly show that to you. I'll get the box. So, I have two external hard disks. This is because my Mac does not uh, have, I mean, uh, it has very less memory, I think 128 gigabytes. So I had to get these external hard disks. This is an HDD and this is an SSD. That's what you call them, right? Uh, and this is a 500 GB one, this is a 1 TB one. And go for an SSD, it's much, much faster, small, doesn't have any sort of fan noise and it's worth it. So I have some softwares like MATLAB, which I run using it and uh, I use this to you know mostly store videos and files so go for this SSD it's amazing if you are running out of storage and if you want more storage then go for this SanDisk uh, SSD it's called SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD then I have this external webcam uh, I don't think you need this until you're creating content but the camera on most laptops the front camera is terrible so this is a Logitech C930e and it just makes my face look clear but if you I mean if you're not doing any sort of videos then I don't think you need it and then I have this uh, you know adapter sort of thing where uh, you know you can just uh, increase the number of USB ports you have so this has three USB ports and, a one, and uh, one micro SD card reader, one SD card reader, all of that. So if you're someone who films things and if you want to, uh, you know, import that into your laptop, then you can use one of these uh, adapters. So the thing with Macs is that most Macs uh, have something called the lightning port. And if you want to connect something like HDMI or for a VGA cable, then what you, what you want to do is uh, buy an adapter, which goes to the lightning port or if there are ports wherein you can put the VGA cable or HDMI cable. So if you have a presentation or something, you might have to buy a lot of adapters. Especially with the new Macs, you will buy a lot of adapters. So uh, yeah, that's, that's one disadvantage of having Macs. There are very few ports. Then I got into reading, right? Uh, many people were saying, hey, you should read. Uh, some of my idols like Nawal, Ravi Khan, they were like, hey, reading is what takes humanity forward, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, hey, I got to read. And I had to make two choices. When I went to the airport, I used to see these crazy crossword bookstores. And I used to wonder, ki, why are books so expensive, man? Uh, like, even uh, this thick books are like some 400, 500 ru rupees. And I thought, uh, instead of, you know, wasting money in buying so many books, why don't I just get a Kindle? Because Kindle books are cheap anyway, right? So Kindle was a good investment. Uh, and if you're someone who's planning to read a lot, uh, or even if you're like someone who's environmentally friendly, then get a Kindle worth the investment. So I bought Kindle Paperwhite 2. And the difference between Kindle Paperwhite and the normal Kindle is that this, this has a backlight, right? So if you're reading in the night, uh, if you're reading in your bed with the light switched off, so you can use this and uh, PHS egg backlight I got. So that's the advantage of having a Kindle Paperwhite. Um, that's pretty much it guys. So these are some of the gadgets that I use in college. The next video is going to be about the YouTube setup that I'm using right now and what I used to use in college. Hopefully some of you creators, some of you future YouTubers, some of you who want to share with the world what you're doing, uh, that might be quite useful. Take care. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.